Good evening, Titans. This is Mr. Sturtz. Uh, we're on lesson 4.4, and we're going to be talking about scatter plots and lines of fit tonight. So if you go to your student journal, we have three definitions that you should have a space for there. Pause the video, um, write these down. We'll kind of talk about them a little more tomorrow in class. Okay, so get these written down here, these three. Our core concept tonight is a scatter plot. Okay, and what a scatter plot is, is it's really a bunch of ordered pairs. Um, it shows a relationship between two sets of data, and we're going to use these scatter plots to show trends in the data. Okay, we're going to use correlations, positive, negative. Um, we're going to scatter plots. So this first one says the scatter plot shows the amount x in grams of sugar. So the x-axis shows sugar, the y-axis shows calories um, in ten smoothies. Okay, so part A says, how many calories are in a smoothie that contains 56 grams of sugar? So we're going to go to our x-axis, find sugar, 56 on there, trace it up. We see in 56 grams of sugar there, if we trace it over to the y-axis, we see the 270 there. Okay, 270 is our calories. Okay, so we see there are 270 calories with 56 grams of sugar. Part B says how many grams of sugar are in the smoothie that contains 320 calories. So now we're given a Y value of 320. So we go up here on the Y axis, trace it over, we see this little dot here. Trace it down to X, we see that there are 70 grams of sugar in a smoothie with 320 calories. Part C says what tends to happen to the number of calories as the number of grams of sugar increases? Okay, so grams of sugar increases. We look at the bottom there. As the grams of sugar increase, we see that the calories also increase. Okay, we have this little kind of correlation there, which we'll show on the next slide. As the sugar increases, the calories also increase. Okay, so just like the last slide here, we're talking about correlations, positive, negative, or no correlation. Think of these as slopes. Okay, remember with slope dude there, a positive slope is uphill, is up from left to right. It increases. A negative slope decreases from left to right. So same thing with correlations. A positive correlation increases from left to right. A negative correlation decreases from left to right. So looking at these, we're trying to split these points evenly, showing a correlation. Um, the graph on the left, they're really scattered. Okay, the, the points are all over the place. There's really no trend to those points. So that left one, we're going to say there's no correlation. And the left one shows no correlation. There's really not a trend to those points. There's not a pattern. Okay, but notice on that, that right graph there, those points generally from left to right, they're kind of going downhill there. Okay, they're going down from left to right. So that shows that we have a negative correlation. Negative correlation there. Okay, just think of slopes.